Hi. Hi. How are you? Hello. How are you today? Hi, Silvines. Hello, Claudia. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good, Good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you. How are you today? Nice. 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 Excellent. It's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday. Yes. It's Friday. Teacher. Hola. Yo estoy un poquito atrasadita con las tareas y este um, espero ponerme el día este fin de semana. Ok, sí. Y estoy pendiente, yo sé que tengo que hacerlas, pero no nos ha quedado un poquito de tiempo, pero sí sé que... Ya vieron el recordatorio, la... ¿verdad? Para que vean que no es cosa mía. No, está bien. Ah. <risa> ya somos adultos y somos responsables. Sí. Pero el, también. Acaban de aprovechar el fin de semana que se tiene un poquitito de tiempo, ¿verdad? Para, Así es. Sí. Para terminar. Si yo hoy al terminar clase doy una revisada, ¿verdad? reviso, a ver qué falta, qué, bueno, recojo, mejor dicho, lo que ya está hoy. Eh, mañana en la mañana doy otra revisadita por alguien que haya entrado en la mañana reviso si alguien sí. más trabajó algo, lo recojo lunes vuelvo a revisar, martes vuelvo a, a terminar de revisar ¿verdad? para poder este, ir teniendo mi lista al día, pero sí tengo varios huecos por ahí todavía de acuerdo otra consulta teacher sí. um, eh, sí. Este módulo termina como la semana del 20. Terminamos creo que 21. Okay. Sí, sí, yo pregunto porque creo que el día 20 me toca a mí, pero más este, hacer el tiempo para los 15 minutos. Extra. Por eso ah, se me ¿cuándo le, un poco eso. ¿cuánto le, ¿Cuándo le toca? Me dice. Sí, lunes 20, me dice. Pero este, mi pregunta en sí va este, con lo de los papeleos que se mandan a la mitad. Eh, digamos, ¿cuánto tiempo hay para que inicie el siguiente módulo? ¿Es de su conocimiento mm. o tiene que ser un poco más? No, eso sí es de preguntárselo a Clarice. Ok. Sí. Nada más. Sí. Sí. Bien, Hello. Le Hello. mandaron... Hello, hello. Por ahí Según el correo que han enviado, el siguiente módulo comenzaría el 28. Ya dieron fecha para enviar eh, la documentación. Sí, pero, sí, de todo eso estoy al tanto, pero la fecha exacta sí no la recordaba. Uh -huh. el ya, ya llenaron, ¿verdad? Este, Hazel mandó un... un un link para reservar el cupo, dice. Reserva cupo ya. ¿Verdad? Reserva cupo ya. Este. Y después. Ajá. Ese es un mensaje que cayó, quiero ver, ayer. ¿Verdad? Sí, lo de las fechas de inicio, sí, no sabría yo decirles. Pero eh, 28, dice Sandra. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Bueno, y sí, ya vemos más. Very nice. How was your Friday? Nice Friday? Mm? Nice Friday. Nice Friday. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, sí. For you, the last. I work tomorrow. I work all day tomorrow. <laughs> I work tomorrow from eight to six. Mm -hmm. I'm entertained all day long. So I don't get bored, right? So I'm um, a little bit busy. Yeah, but nice. Do you work on Saturday? 
Do you work on Saturday? Do you work? Yes. Yes, you work. Yes. Okay. Yes, I work. Okay. No. You don't? I don't work. Hey, qué nice. Nice, nice. No work. No, teacher. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Solo eh, para conocimiento, Silvia dice que la fecha límite de instrucción es el 20 de febrero y la fecha tentativa de inicio del curso es el 28. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Eso lo mandó Hazel Cardona. El lunes, creo. El 8 de febrero. Ah, el 8 de febrero. Uh -huh. So, I had the same day that she said to keep the. Yes. The same day that she sent the, the, the message asking you to keep, right? To say if you want to continue, right? Mm -hmm. So check there, be pending, right? When you have to, to send the documents, when is the last day for you to send the documents? So you send them before, right? With lots of time before. Mm -hmm. And checking your companies if they have sent all the requirements. So you're ready to continue. Well, nice. We're nine now. Let's see. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me check here. Oh, no. This this is nine ten. Amanda Yesenia, present. Amanda, no here. Hey, Carlos Alfredo. Carlos. Cecilia. César. Present teacher. Nice, Claudia Ivonne. Present teacher. Jacob, Jonathan, Jonathan, Jose David, Juan Antonio, present teacher, Juan Carlos, Karen Leticia, Karen, Carla Yamilet. Catherine Bridget, Catherine, 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 Okay, Patrick Bridget, no, no here. Connie Stephanie, Marco Rubén. Present. Nice, minor. Minor. Nuestra mano. Sandra Elizabeth. Present. Silvia Estela. Silvia. No está Silvia. Silvia Inés. Present. Tatiana Beatriz. Tatiana. Catherine. Present. Fíjense que um, tengo marcado con present 7, ¿verdad? pero hay 11. Voy a llamar rapidito otra vez para los que se conectaron después de que lo llamé. Amanda, Carlos Alfredo. Present teacher, Carlos Alfredo. Silvia. 
Jacob, Jonathan, José David, Karen Leticia, Carla Elizabeth, Catherine Bridget, Pony, Minor, Silvia Estela, Tatiana, Abuin. ¿Y quiénes están por ahí que no dijeron presión? Sí, y Estela está por ahí. Ajá, pero quizás no está. Pero creo que tiene como el micrófono. Eh, ya no sé. Solo ocho. Ocho me han dicho present y, y, y yo no le puedo poner present si no me contestan. Good evening, teacher. Me voy conectando. Good evening, Carla. Sí, teacher. Claudia y vos, Juan Antonio, Catherine Bridget, pero no dicen present. Entonces yo no les puedo poner present si no me dicen present. Carla, Carla, Carla. Yo le había respondido, teacher. ¿Quién? Juan. No, usted sí. No sé, David, ¿no? Oh, Car no, Karen. Aquí estoy, teacher. Catherine, pero no me responden, ¿eh? No, 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 teacher. no me dicen present, no les puedo poner present. No, Catherine sorry, Bridget. Catherine, Yo voy llegando. Catherine Bridget. Present teacher. No me duerman todavía. Quiero ver Silvia Estela. Silvia, 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 Silvia. Se ve que ella intenta hablar porque se le ve el, ah, el cuadrito que se activa. Es pero que está no tratando sé. de abrir, abrir cámara. También. Pero en el chat ha puesto Silvia que le está eh, fallando, está el, fallando micrófono. el micrófono, dice. Y la cama, va, ah, ok. Vaya, pero ya, ya dio señales de vida, ¿verdad? Va, ok. Catherine Beatriz, ya me me han hecho present. Acuérdense que tienen que decir present. Jonathan, no here. No. Cecilia, no here. Amanda, no here. Va, bueno, vámonos, pues. Teacher. Hola. Sí me contó mi present, ¿verdad? Catherine. 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 Sí. sí, medio le escuché present. Ah, uh -huh. ah pues sí, present. Teacher. ¿Usted va corriendo, Catherine? Sí, es que voy para la casa. Ah, es que se le oye como que va ahorita en la caminata. Teacher, a mí también me puso present. Sí, Carlita, usted la oí bien cuando me dijo, teacher, soy Carla. <risa> Gracias. Bien. Y a mí, teacher. ¿Quién es mi? Karen, 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 Karen. Oh, sí, Karen. Sí, sí. Ok, teacher, sorry. Es que ando comprando una medicina para mi mami, por lo que le conté ayer. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. Pero es mejorcita. Ok, teacher. Sí, es que fíjense que bien raro, porque tenía 11 conectados y solo 7 me dijeron present. Y yo, ah, no, y los demás. Uh -huh. Son 13. No presen, medio presen, teacher, ¿no? <risa> Vaya, vamos a ver. Eh, qué fría que está, teacher, ¿verdad? Qué barbaridad, qué barbaridad. Vamos a ver. Imagine. Uy, uy, espérenme, que yo no tengo abierto. Cierra que tienes. Ay, pero por estar cerrando Tim, cerré cerré la presentación a ver también pero Tim se enlace y se volvió a abrir va, hoy sí ok, let's see let's share Today is February 10th. 10th. What class is today? Vamos a ver if you know. What class is it today? Hmm? What class? A ver. A saber. What class is it today? Huh? 
Eleven. Eleven, no. A ver. Fourteen. ¿Mm? What did you say? Twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen, yes. Yes, this is class number 13. And today uh, we are going to talk about the steps to write a formal email. Yesterday we were talking about um, inappropriate behavior, right? We were talking about inappropriate behavior in the workplace. And we were giving recommendations of things that you should do and things that you should not do at the workplace, right? So that's what we were talking about just today. We're going to talk about the emails, how to write a formal email because we can write an, an email, but what about a, new, a formal one, right? So that's the topic today and check the objective students will be able to prepare, write, and articulate short professional emails for business purposes. We're talking about business, right? Remember, this is English para el trabajo. So we're preparing you for work, right? For doing a better job. Maybe you say, teacher, I don't, I don't write emails in my work. Mm. Are you going to be there all the time? Are you planning to change one day? Do you want to improve? Do you want to go in a better position in the place where you are? Yes? So if you answer yes, yes, yes to all those questions, you will need this, right? You will need to know how to prepare a professional email especially for a business workers, right? Okay, look at these questions. Do you send emails every day? Should emails be brief or long? Brief means short, right? When we say brief, this means short. Should emails be short or long? Can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Okay. These are the discussion questions. I'm going to paste them there in the chat. So you will go to discuss. Right? You will go with your partners and discuss. Mm -hmm. Let me... Okay, but there you go. I'm going to, I'm going to, yo me voy deslizando tras este pantalón que anda muy liso. But I'm, I'm going to send you to the groups so you discuss the questions, right? Let me see. Ahí está. Let's join. I'm leaving here Marco Rubén, Sandra, and Silvia Inés eh, for you to be in this room. Okay? All the others, let's move to the room, discuss the questions, and then be ready to share with the class, right? Let's go. Join, join, join. Join. Nice, 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 Juan Antonio. 
Amada. Teacher, no está transferir nuevamente. Es que se me perdió la ventanita para tocar. Uh -huh. Vaya, vaya. Transferir. Juan Antonio. Check, check. Nice, Claudia. Juan Antonio, hello. Bye, Juan Antonio. If you can no move, you can stay here. Okay, you can discuss in this room, no problem. Let's start. The questions are in the chat, okay? Hello. The first question, do you send emails every day? In my case, I can email every day. And you? Espérenme que estoy tratando de ubicarlo. Okay. I sent you the questions in the chat of WhatsApp if you don't find the manual. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Hola. Hola. Sí. Hola. Hola. Igual. Show, show emails be free, be free, be free for long. Uh, show emails be free. Me quedo sin saber qué significa. Miss, no le entiendo a esa, a esa pregunta. Show emails be free. Brief, 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 brief. No brief, sino que brief. Brief means ah. short. Ay, Dios mío, free. Ajá. No, free. Free no, porque free es que no los paga. A ver. Ah, brief. 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 Eh, eh, short. Es eh, eh, corto. Short. Ajá. Ah, ya. Yeah. Should short. emails be short or long? Ok. Should emails be brief or long? For... In my job is is brief. It's very brief. I am I and you. Think, I think I think same of you. Mm -hmm. I think. Así sería, teacher. Para decir, pienso lo mismo que tú. I think the same. I think I think the same. The same. Yes. Same. I think the same. Emails be brief. Can you mention to write the emails? Press mm. tips to write. Can you mention three tips to write effective emails? Mm. Tres, three tips. Mm. ¿Cómo se diría al grano? <laughs> Ir directo al grano. Go directly to, to the point. Go I? Um, go directly to the point. Directly. 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 directly to the point. Ah, directly. Ah, directly. Yeah, go to directly the to the point. To a, directly to the point is a one. 
Um, directo al punto. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Mm, three tips and you ideas. I don't know. Google. <laughs> Mandy. Don't use the capital letters. Ese sí lo puso. Ah, ah, como, eh, mm, mm, solo puse no capital letters. Ajá, uh -huh, don't use only capital letters and don't use contraction. Be formal. Don't use capital letter. Don't use the great. Ah, no, it's still do. Your greetings, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And be brief. Que es la manera como más efectiva. Be brief, brief. Yes. What happens if you write it too long? What will happen? The people don't understand some, some something or or we create confusion. Exactly. And they will lose interest too, right? Yes. Because they will start reading and then they will say, I that's too long. I won't read that. Uh huh. So people see. <laughs> maybe the people will scan it. Maybe if not, that's like oh too long. It should be very, very brief. Mm -hmm. If it is long, you how do you say an exact teacher? You attach. Attach. Attach the document. Mm -hmm. Attach the document. Exactly. Exactly. It's better to attach the document rather than writing the whole thing in an email, right? Uh -huh. Yes. Any other question? No, teacher. We finish. Okay. Vamos a ver, one more group. Yo ya lo fui a ver a todos. Let's go. Bye, Carlita. Adiós, Karen. <laughs> Okay, where we are. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. how don't know. I don't Brief. 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 Sí, thanks. Haga de caso que allí no hay una E. Sería brief, brief. Sí, brief. Como que no estuviera esta E. Aquí. Porque la E es muda. Right? Then you say brief. Should emails be brief or long? What do you think? In my case, I send email brief. Brief emails. Yeah, brief. Okay. Do you send emails every day? No, teacher. No, I don't. You don't? No, teacher. You don't send emails every day. Okay, you tell me all agree that the emails should be brief? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you mention three tips? Why no it... The brief teacher. Capital letters. Okay. Or contraction words. Contraction. 
Don't use contraction word. Don't use please. contractions. Yes, you cannot use contractions in an email. What else? And use greetings mm. for the salutation. Okay. Can I use emojis? No, teacher. I like emoji. But it's not formal. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so you for WhatsApp. You know? <laughs> yeah, they have for WhatsApp. For WhatsApp, for... Well, here we cannot use emojis, can we? I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Vamos a ver, what can we do here? Check what you can do. You can do lots of things, but no emojis. Well, not for me. I'm sorry if I stop sharing. Oh, I have the reactions. Yes. Oh, good, you see. You can have emojis in class, you see? Here, no problem, right? A celebration. Like the Angel. Oh, uh, Valentine's Day. <laughs> yes, for, for next Tuesday. But not in the email, right? In the email, definitely. Mm -mm, no. As somebody said, use the emojis in the WhatsApp. But in the email. Okay, what else? What other tip can you give me? Huh? Don't forget put the subject. Yes, don't forget the subject. And what about the salutation at the end? When you close, you have to, to write your name, right? Okay. Nice, nice. Thank you. Now look at this. Here we have some tips. Which tips for writing formal emails do you follow? Hmm? Look at the look at the tips. All of them are valid. All of them should be followed. But which emails do you follow when you write an email? The ones that you follow. Oh. All of them, teacher. Sure. You follow all of them? Yes. Okay. Nice, nice. What happens when I use capital letter? What happens? Uh -huh. What happens? Como se dice ofensivo. Offensive. It is offensive. Yes. It is offense. The capital letter. Why is it offensive? Um, um, why? Uh, Alex, uh, um, why um, is the um, uh, why um, is um, cuando Hablamos, uh -huh. se ve la expresión, pero cuando escribimos es una forma eh, de eh, mostrar como interés, pero al mismo tiempo este, eh, como hablar en voz alta con la escritura. No sé cómo decir eso. Ajá, ok. Remember que es... Show. What did you say? Show. Maybe show, gritar. Show. Show. Okay. Show. Remember yesterday uh, we were saying that we should be very uh, formal, right? That we were we should be polite when we 
when we greet people, when we say something to people. And you know, as you say, yes, when we are face to face, we can see the reaction of the person. Some people are more expressive than others, right? So you can see if the people is not happy, if the person is very happy, but, but the reaction, the body language and the gestures help you know. But when you are using writing, you have to be very careful with the language you use. Because remember that when a person reads the, the message, they will give the message their own intonation, right? So you have to be very careful with the tone that you use when writing. And sometimes it is very easy to understand when somebody's writing the rude uh, attitude of the person writing. And this is something really obvious. When you use capital letter, it's like, hey, you shout it to the person. And sometimes uh, people are not pretending to be rude, right? What they want is just to catch the people's attention, showing that something is important, they put it in capital letter, but that's not the real meaning, okay? So if something is important or the important meaning that you, or, or okay, message that you want to transmit, put it here in the subject, right? that not putting the words or the, or the message in capital letter, because sending or putting the message in capital letter is not good, okay? So instead of saying, well, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to communicate something that is really important, so I'm going to put in capital letter, probably you could put it in la, in bold, or you could put it with a different color, or you could put it in italics. So somehow that phrase catches somebody's attention, but never, never, never use capital letter in writing. It's not just emails, but never a write capital letters in writing. Because even when you're writing a message in WhatsApp, and you write it in capital letters, it's like you're chowing. Every time you write a message in capital letters, you're writing, you're chowing. Okay, so be very, very careful. Remember, we were saying the day before yesterday that when you ask for a favor to a person, you have to say please, right? And you have to be nice in asking for favor. And imagine where you're writing to ask for a favor. You still have to be more careful because you're not trying to be imperative, right, to the person, but you're trying to be just to say something. So never, 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 right? This never. But it's important to teach it. No, it doesn't matter. In capital letter. Definitely no. Okay, avoid using the subject important. What happens if you want to send an email and your subject is only important? See, pero what is it about, right? What you should write in the subject is the, the topic of, of, the, of the theme. For example, if you're call, if you're inviting for a meeting, in the in the subject you write invitation to a meeting, right? If you are talking about a a birthday party that will be there at your workplace, write subject birthday party. If you're inviting your coworkers to the dinner celebration, uh, to the Christmas dinner, right? Christmas dinner, right? So that should be the subject. The subject should let me know before I open the email 
what the email is about. Okay. Now, use a formal salutation. What happens if I am very informal and I write an informal salutation? Mm -hmm. What do you think? What do you think? Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. What is the salutation? What is salutation in an email? Uh huh. Um, what is salutation in an email? Yes, 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 yes. What is it? Lo que pone al final o lo que pone al, al principio? Al principio. 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 Because if you're writing a format, if you're writing, give me a second. Okay, so what are, what would be an example of a formal salutation? Mm -hmm. Dear old or dear, dear. Dear and the name of the person. But what about if you're writing a business email? A business email. Would you write dear Mr. Huh? Would you say that? Would you say, dear Mr. Perez? Yes or no? Yes. 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 If you know Mr. Perez, you can use it. If you don't know Mr. Perez very well. Mm -hmm. What would you say? How would you greet Mr. Perez? If Mr. Perez is the manager of a company, how would you greet him? Uh-huh. Dear Mr. Perez. Dear Mr. Perez, right? Dear Mr. Perez, uh, because you have to know the name of the person you're sending the email to. Okay, what about next? Uh huh. Next, we say, uh, well, formal salutation. No oh, hello, no hi, verdad? Because hello, hi is not formal. Receive cordial greeting. Huh? Receive. What does it mean? Cordial. Uh, oh, 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 how do you say it? Receive saludos cordiales. Mm, eso ya no, pasó de moda. Ya no se. Sí. Ya no se ocupa, ya cambió. Yo recuerdo cuando yo estudié, yo estudié secretariado antes de profesorado. Y recuerdo que nos decían que escribiéramos, espero que se encuentre bien de salud al lado de su familia. O ya no, usted va direct to the point. Entonces, cuando decimos que, un, que tiene que ser brief, 
eh, tiene que ser corto. Entonces nos evitamos todo eso, ¿verdad? Y ya usted solo se va a lo más, al, al punto, digamos. Si usted dice, I'm writing to request some information from your company. I'm contacting you to invite you to my event. I'm, I appreciate your interest in our company and I'm touching. So you're trying to be direct to the point. Ya no más, ya no más aquello de dear Mr. Pérez, I'm writing to you, expecting that you're well with your family and that your business is having sex like the best in the world or whatever, right? That we used to say like, when I was a secretary a long time ago, now no more, right? Now no more, that's, that's not necessary. Now you go directly, directly to the point. But you have to be formal, right? You have to be formal and uh, you have to go direct to the point. But I'm, I'm going to write to you uh, a beginning, right? So you say, dear, if you don't know the name of the person, you can say, dear marketing manager. I'm contacting you on behalf of, and you write the name of your company because you're not writing on your name, right? You're writing on name of the company. We are interested in learning about your range of products and would like to request a sample to be sent to us. So you go direct, ¿qué quiere? No le escribe para saludar, le escribe para pedirle algo, right? And then you go. Eh, you continue with the rest mm, of the information, right? <clears throat> Dear customer service team, if you're, in, uh, if you're emailing a business, you could simply use their company name. So just no dear customer service team. You can just write the name of the company, as we mentioned before. Now, um, remember, be brief, not too long, right? Because people will lose interest in your email and they will not read what you really want them to know. So they won't receive the message if it is too long. How many lines should be a brief email? No more than five, right? Five, six lines will be enough. If you want to give more information, as somebody was saying in the groups, attach a document. And in the body of the email, you can tell them that you want them to check that information that you're attaching to them, that is about this, this. But quickly, right? Not staying too long. And then express clearly why you're writing, right? What, what I told you there. Why are you writing? Express very clearly. Don't go around writing lots of things that people will get confused or won't understand what you really want go directly to the point. Express clearly why you're writing to them. Do not use abbreviation, mister, with this. No, yeah, not abbreviation. Example, I'm going to send you an example. Well, right, not possible, yeah? So remember, when you're formal, not abbreviation, especially that we use abbreviations or contractions when talking, no when writing, right? When writing, it doesn't matter if it's an email or any other document that you're writing. When you're writing, use complete, uh, no contractions. When you're speaking, you can use contractions. Because remember what we were saying yesterday? If you want to make a lot of emphasis, especially negative, 
If you want to make a lot of emphasis, you don't make a contraction. If you want it to sound stronger. But if you want to relax a little bit what you're saying, then you can use a contraction. But that's when speaking. When writing, mm -mm, no abbreviations and no contractions, right? Do not use the smileys, the famous emojis, right? No emojis, no smileys. Ay, una carita feliz at the end of my name. No. No, no, no. I don't know if you still use it, but I remember in the past there should be a, in one side of the letter in the lower part, you used to write your the, the initials of the of the name of the person who wrote the letter, right? But no, in the email. In the email, no, the email is not a letter, remember, right? It's not a letter, so it's something totally different. So it goes from the company in name of the company. So you cannot write your, uh, like my abbreviation so they know that I am sending it. Mm -mm. Because you're sending the email in name of the company, in name of your post, non your name, right? Okay, which of these? Tips do you follow? Karen says she follows all. What about the others? Uh -huh. What about the others? Do you follow all? Hmm? No. Oh, yes. Hola. Do you follow all the tips? Yes. 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 Okay, that's wonderful. Now let's move here. Check these steps. Check these steps that we have to write a formal email. Let's read them together first if, to check vocabulary if you have any questions. And then I'm going to send you the work together so you can read it in your groups. Read the tips to write a formal email and classify the emails below as formal or informal, right? Uh, for the informal emails, discuss what tips will be useful to make them more formal. And then we have. Filling the subject line with a topic relevant to your recipient. And do not just document or important. So don't send it with the, with the name or with the subject of just document. What document is? If not, that will be similar to when you want to keep a document you did a, a word and you only want to work, to keep it and it keeps like document one. So it will be the same. If you don't put the name to that document. So the same happens here. Do not uh, send an email with the subject that says document. What's the subject of this, of this email? Document. And of this one, important doesn't tell me anything, right? Now, include a polite salutation. Dear mister, dear miss, good morning, right? Be, be polite, be nice. Write your main point in the opposite, in, write your main point in the opening sentence. Don't use all capital or all lowercase letters. Avoid abbreviations, example, please. Be polite. Remember to write please and thank you. Seven, be brief. If your message is too long, consider using an attachment. Number eight, use a closing phrase like best regards, regards, looking forward to your comments, etc. 
nine. Add a signature block with appropriate contact information, your name, business address, and phone number. Edit and proofread before you send the email. What is proofread? What does it mean, proofread? Hmm? Who knows the meaning of proofread? Yes. Anybody? Revisar or chequear, editar. Exactly. When you read something again, to check it, because you're not going to send an email with spelling mistakes or without punctuation, correct punctuation, or with that you were omitting a letter. So you have to be very careful, right? Very, 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 very careful. Okay. Now, no questions here? No question. We have 10 tips, right? We have 10 tips to write formal emails. What you're going to do is classify the emails below as formal or informal. Yeah? Yes? 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 Veamos los emails que tenemos en el check. Are these emails formal or informal? According to the tips that we learned on how to make a, a, a formal email, right? See? Yes. Okay. So you go through the emails, read them carefully, compare with the, with the tips given, and then you correct them. First, decide if they are formal or informal, right? But if you say, this informal. is informal, how would you make that email formal? I'm going to send you uh, to, the, to the rooms right now for you to discuss, share with your partner, do the exercise, and then you will share. Estamos. Ya lo veo. Bueno. Uy. Espérenme que me ríe. Vaya, let's go. Join the rooms. Join the rooms. Any questions about what you have to do? Questions? No. Okay. Ahí queda Minor y Karen hoy con Sandra. And the others, let's go, let's join. Hi, hi. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. You have the manual, right? Hello. 
फेल किया लोला सिल्विया बोला करला बोला बोला सी टीचर आपके वहां पे लोग सब लोग कोरेओ इनफॉर्मल ही फॉर्मल बट सी दे लो दोस कोरेओस चेकिंग सेगुन लोस टिप्स के ले हेमो दाडो क्वालिस सम फॉर्मल एंड क्वालिस सम इनफॉर्मल You can share the screen. Hello. Hello, Miss. ¿Cómo vamos? Como que Claudia tiene un poquito de interrupciones en su lugar. Vamos a ver aquí le trae. Aquí me trae. Ah, 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 ah. Pero Juan Antonio está conectado doble. Ah, no se va a unir. Tiene algo. No, escribir abreviatura, dice, puedes revisar los correos a cualquiera de estos dos, cuáles son los formales e informales. Vaya, una cosita, chicos, si entienden la pregunta, si entienden qué es lo que están leyendo, no lo traduzco, por favor. Oye. Mm. Uh -huh. Busquen en español solo de aquello que de verdad no entienden qué significa. Lo que entienden qué significa no lo traduce. Para que así se vayan acostumbrando a, a usar el idioma, porque no podemos estar traduciendo todo. Oye. Sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Entonces, en la primera. Para, para mí la primera es un poquito más informal. Uh -huh. Sí, informal. Okay. Hola. Hi, hi. Hola, teacher. Me movió de sala. Sí, fíjese que lo moví porque estaba solita. ¿Quién era? Karen, no sé, no me acuerdo quién. Pero, oh, cuando te estaba solo. <risas> no, la cosa es que se tardó mucho en venirse. Entonces dije, no, pues ya no se vino Juan Antonio. Entonces, sí, la... como no, te lo que pasa es que para entrar a sala se tardó 
bueno, mi, mi laptop se tarda un buen rato cargando sí, para entrar a la, a la sala. <ríe> Imagínense que yo me quedé esperando. Y yo dije, ay, Juan Antonio está conectado doble, le digo a ella. Pues no. Entonces la moví mejor. Oh, Así mmm. que me lo voy a llevar de regreso. Qué extraño me hubiera una Sara solo. De... <ríe> <ríe> sí, eso fue lo que pasó. Que ella sí, pero... estaba, estaba solita. Pues porque la compañera no le hablaba, ¿verdad? tenía problemas. Uh -huh. Entonces le digo, no, ya le voy a traer a alguien. Y vi que allí en esa aula, allí donde estaba usted, habían cuatro. Le paré, le paré, Brian. Sí, estábamos cuatro, cierto. Ajá, entonces me lo jalé, pero cuando, me lo, cuando lo jalé, no, ya, vi que, que, que estaba como que Había estaba conectado usted dos veces. Y vi que no sí. se quedó, y me dije, ah, pues no se va a venir. Ah, pues no, le dije, ya la voy a mover. Vaya, pues ya lo muevo de regreso. Sí, es que como dice usted, sí. me tarda en cargar cuando entro a salas, tardo más rato cargando. Sí, está. Ah. Cuando entro a la sala, ya están hablando los compañeros ahí. Bueno, si no me traigo a alguien, espere, para acá, para que no le cueste mucho. Vamos a traer a César. Y en sí, teacher, ¿qué se iba a hacer? Estaba perdido en ese sentido. Ah, vaya. What you have to do. First, cheque los tips que estábamos leyendo, ¿verdad? Los 10 tips. Sí. Que son para Hello. escribir un, un email formal. Sí. Después le mostré. Ah, un email, me escribí. Dos emails, sí. Dos emails de ustedes tienen que decidir cuál email es formal y cuál email es informal. Y el que sea informal, aplicarle esos tips y volverlo formal. Ah, de, de, de cambiarlo. Ajá, exactly. ¿Qué es lo que le tiene que cambiar? Bueno, no solo de, de, de arreglarlo, también. Ajá. Exacto, convertirlo en formal. Ok. Uh -huh. Bye, César. Uh -huh. Hello, César. Hello. Yo no lo entendí, o sea, estoy viendo los dos cuadritos, pero ¿cómo así? Pero yo lo que le estaba diciendo a Juan Antonio, ¿acaso hoy? En la mitad. <ríe> va, ok. Eh, lo que va a hacer, tienen que leer los tips otra vez, lo que yo les estuve leyendo. Ajá, los 10, ajá. ajá. Y de ahí decidir si esos emails son formal o informal. Uh -huh. Y el que sea informal. Tienen que corregirlo según los tips y convertirlo uh -huh. en forma. Ya, ya, ya. Ya, uh -huh. ah, pues sí, pues sí. Cualquiera de los, bueno, los dos. Los, Ajá, léanlo. Los, 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 ¿Cuál es formal y cuál es informal? Va, la poche, la poche. Lo pueden leer juntos, ¿verdad? Es que te estoy viendo. Sí. O sea, desde mi punto de vista, el izquierdo es el formal. Cumple. Ah, porque sea un, es un correo. Sí, eso por... estaba viendo también que tiene más su. Un correo directamente corto, o sea, lleva directamente al destinatario que es el que tiene que, digamos, leerlo. Y, digamos, o sea, no sé, es mi punto de vista, ¿verdad? Ah. Porque o sea, es que por ejemplo, como cuando yo mando ir correos en mi trabajo, o sea, si lo hacemos. Sí, yo lo he estado. Bien directo. Y para corregir la otra. No, yo correcto. Corre, me fue el inter. Remember that tomorrow. Mm. 
Pero discútanlo juntos. Trabajen. No la, no la, no la comprendo. La última palabra. Ay. Ay. The grip, the ser, ser. El, el, la palabra esa que decía usted, teacher, la de, la de, la número, ser, six, seven, del libro de la 34, ahí teníamos que usar eh, para un mensaje, la Largo y se usan las contracciones ahí, ¿verdad? Ah. Y esa, ese, esa palabra no, no comprendo bien eh, la número 5, usando la parte. A boil dice. Ajá. Avoid. A boil significa que no ocupe. No. Ah, que no ocupe. Ajá. Ah, no hay que ocupar con, contracciones entonces, abreviaturas, perdón. No. Mm. Thank you. Ajá, que no ocupe. Ah, ah. no ocupar esa palabra. Sí. No, no si, es por, si es formal, Ajá. si es formal el, el correo, no va a usar nada de lo que le dice ahí que no ocupe. Si es formal, nada de esto vamos a utilizar, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Exacto. Mm. So you have to be very careful. Uh -huh. yeah. Para mí entonces, teacher, eh, el the email one is 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 formal. Which one is formal? Eh, but the uh, eh, is eh, sorry. Informal, it's informal. Which is informal? Uh -huh. Which one? Uh, which one is the... Uh, no sé cómo decirlo, pero es la forma de expresión que él usa. Porque no, bueno, no dice ni por favor ni nada. Uh -huh. Ah, pero ahí decía que no teníamos que usar también. Oh. No, pero de polite, remember to write is and thank you. No dice ni, ni gracias. Vaya, if you Bye. consider, vaya, listen, if uh -huh. you consider that the two emails are informal, how uh -huh. would you make them formal? Uh -huh. uh, is direct, but the no is uh, polite. Eh, es como decirle a, a una persona de confianza mira, eh, no te olvides de las cosas que, que tenés que llevar en el 2 entiendo que le dice eh, eh, recordar, recordando de los documentos son un poquito más eh, como más polite al expresarse uh -huh. o estoy eh, un error Cheque los dos, cheque los dos, pongan la atención, los dos tienen detallitos que le van a decir si son formales o informales. Si son formales, that's okay. Si son informales, ¿qué les falta? ¿Qué tiene que hacer para convertirlos en forma? Va suponiendo el dos, si fuera formal, tendría que llamar, por favor. Thank you, perdón. Y no llevar el, las contracciones. Uh -huh. uh, obvio, abrevio, tú. Debería de empezar, dear Robert. Exacto. Es Missing a salud. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ajá. It is missing a salutation. What else? De ahí. 
Yes, yes. What else? What else are you missing there? Only the salutation. No, al, uh, al final, uh, the uh, three words or, or despedir. <laughs> closing. Sí, the closing. It doesn't yeah. have a closing, right? So you have to put the closing that is missing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. The first is, ma is more informal. But are they too formal or informal? Two are informal. Because the third is more informal. Aha. Aha. Make the corrections, right? Make the necessary corrections. And then you tell us. Mm -hmm. Okay. The documents. Tell me, digamos. Le podríamos decir que una palabra de gracias o saludo. Al final, salud. Teacher. Ahí. Ok. Bueno, entonces aquí platicando eh, del lado izquierdo, digamos, de, de, quedamos que es la formal, porque es, digamos, la que cumple la mayoría de puntos. Ah, pero las cumple todos. Eh, ¿Todos, todos, todos? Mm, creo que no. Ajá. La, la segunda, digamos, como para hacerla formal. Eh, no sé si estaría bien que, digamos, sería solamente que, que quede, digamos, remember that tomorrow we are having a meeting. Eh, y please don't forget. Y don't, eh, saludos. No sé si quede, si yo, de otra manera, sería un uh, saludo formal. Ajá. Make the necessary. Make the necessary arrangements. Right? Arreglenlos. Háganle los arreglos necesarios, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero que sean formales, bien formales, siguiendo los tips. Oh, también de rellenar el, el, el tema relevante para el destinatario. Uh -huh. Ajá, de subject. Sí. Así porque en el... Ay, sí, porque en el de la... Solo tiene Saruda y tiene el de, el de arriba. Ajá. Sí, Sería cambiarle eso también. Uh -huh. Y Exacto. cada uno tiene su fallita. Yes. Sí, es cierto, los dos tienen su falla. Porque el otro sí tiene el tema cabal. Toma Rose Meeting. Ajá. Y solo tiene sábado, ¿no? Se podría llegar como. Imagínate. Se bueno. podría dejar como Saturday de Meeting. Reunión del sábado. Mm. What's the correct way it should be? Uh, usted háganle ahí las correcciones. ¿no? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's meeting. Remember that tomorrow we are having a meeting. We can forget it or tonight. Let's regard it. El tema lo podemos cambiar porque el, en el correo no aparece el subject. No aparece día en el, so, sí, el, el subject. subject. Mm -hmm. What is the subject? In, in the left, the, the event. In the right, uh, the meeting. 
And instead of Saturday, what can you put as a subject? The subject um, is the uh, the event. My idea. I don't know. Uh -huh. so you're... No, you know? what type of event? We don't know, right? Mm -hmm. We can ah, invent a name of an event because the subject if you you cannot put only the event, that would be too general. So we need to specify a little bit. What is the event? event. See, what event are you talking about? What type of event? Mm -hmm. The event for Christmas event. Uh, Christmas event, mm -hmm. uh, independence event. San Valentin Day. Okay. Mas, mas cerca. Oh, <laughs> yeah, or if it is a meeting, right? Well, what is the main point of the meeting? What's the topic? Mm -hmm. That's what you have to put in. Okay. Um, you will have one minute and then I call you. Okay. Hi, hi. Hello, teacher. Hi. Uh, I'm so sorry, but I I retired for today. I very tired. And ah, la verdad me estoy durmiendo, lo siento. It's Friday. Un día super pesado en el trabajo por mm -hmm. movimientos, por remodelación y no, no ya hice el intento, ya tomé agua gaseosa, me lavé la cara. Papá. Cafecito, <laughs> cafecito. Sí, ya no. El café. Sí, it's normal. It's the accumulation of the week, right? Yes. And then, yeah, tomorrow we continue moving. Oh, all the things. oh my God. So you won't rest tomorrow. You will have to go to work. Yes, I work. Oh. Maybe all day. All maybe. day. Yeah, because if you're yes. moving, oof, that takes time. Yes. Yeah. The last year, moving. About how millions of books? Four millions. A uh, half. Two millions. No, medio million. But medio million, half a million. But half a million son que cincuenta mil. Yes. It's, it's so I, have cool. I have never in my life touched. So my so many books at the same time. <laughs> I'm so wow. sorry, but I try. I try to stay in the class, but no. yeah, of course. And you move you are moving the books and putting them in the place yes. where they have to be. Yes. We have... No, no, no. Nos hemos movido a unos contenedores. Y hemos movido casi. Y hemos cerrado mm -hmm. prácticamente una sala de estudios en el primer nivel solo para libros y aún así hemos hecho la eh, en los contenedores hay hasta de tres líneas libros oh. y en las partes de arriba bueno but Sandrita that means that later on you will have to move those books again because that's yeah. not the place where they have to be no es Approximately five months okay. is the remodelation 
and the books return to the building. Oh, oh. Yeah. Wow. I know, that's the one thing because yeah, I know it's very difficult and it's very tiring to move, right? When you move from another, to another house, but at least you know, and you say that's the last time, unless you move to rent a new house, right? And you know that in a couple of years you will do it, but now you know that in five months you will have to do all the things again. That's really yes. so sorry. What is the what is the books? The books the of books? the library. In the library. Okay. Yeah, the they library are of Uka, yes. right, Sandrita? Yes. Yes. The library at Uka. Um the remodelation. Remodelation. Uh -huh, the remodelation. It's the remodelation is about in second and third floor uh, in the same time. And we have to move all the books, all the um, desks, chairs, computers, all. Ouch. Yes. Then the men to do that. <laughs> For men, then the men to do that. Okay. Well, uh, some books uh, change the, the place. Ajá. Fueron tornados a otras instituciones. Fueron tornados y se está haciendo. Um, Um, como re, recaudando libros para infantiles para los niños de, de otras escuelas como so la you playa co you're collecting books for giving away yes for donating mm -hmm. wow. yes for donating that's, that's okay it's part of the work <laughs> yes, I love books, but moving 50,000 books is like, wow, never in the life I would have imagined about moving that one to books. Maybe tomorrow I send uh, photos. Yes. <laughs> you don't need these books? Yes. They are, they are moving them to another place, Amanda, and then they will after they feel remodeling the, the library, those books will come back in about five months. Ah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So that's the most tiring thing that she knows that in five months, she will have to do that, all that job again. Mm -hmm. Imagine. Imagine. You will get that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, yes. yes. Yeah. Sandrita will be very, very strong with moving all those books. Wow, yes. But you're many people, not only you, right? No, we have. Uh, only you, person. it will take you the whole month. Uh, three years. For all the books. Yeah, <laughs> ah, that's six, a lot. Six how many? People. How many people? Six coworkers. Six. Yes. It's a lot for only six people. How yes. many days have you been doing that? Or you started today? Um. No, I. I start to move the last year in November. We finish in the first week um, of January. January. Wow. Yes. And yesterday and today, we move all the desks, uh, chairs, and other things, televisions, uh, mini componentes, DVDs, le lectores de microfilm. Oh. Yes. Very delicate things that you cannot take 
three at the time because they are delicate and they can get broken. Yes. Mm -hmm. wow. I I'm so sorry, I can't finish today the class. See. Sí. So if somehow you don't answer, I will know <laughs> what happened to you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. Good night, everyone. Good, Good night, Sandrita. Okay. But let's see. I'm sharing the screen. And let's see what your decision is here. We said, mm, we have the first email says to Peter at mail.com. No, no Gmail, not Hotmail, just mail. Copy, it doesn't have a copy to anybody. That's not a problem. It may or may not have. Subject says Saturday. Is that okay? No. No. That's a problem, right? Remember, we have to prepare everything for the event. Please don't forget the things. Is there any problem here? Yes. What's the problem? Uh -huh. Is it clear? Include a polite celebration. Hmm? Not include. Not include. Oh, no salutation, uh, right? Yes. Okay, no salutation. It should say, dear K. Peter. Pongamosle a dear Mr. Dear Peter K. Tell me a last name for Peter para que sea formal. Ah, sí, Peter se llama. ¿no? <laughs> ah, qué chistosa, qué chistosa. A ver, dear Peter K. Pongámosle un last name a Peter. Somoza. Ok. Dear Peter Somoza. Si se escribe somos. Sí, verdad. Bye. Dear Peter Somos. Do you like the body of the message? Do you like the message? It be, be bright. Bright. It is true, right, that it says that when writing an email, you have to go directly to the point. Pero no se pasa. <laughs> what do you think? Is that okay? How would you change that? Remember, we have to prepare everything for the event. Is that okay? Remember, we have to prepare everything for the event. Please don't forget the things. Get things. Mm -hmm. What changes would you do to that email so it sounds formal? Hola. Please don't forget the, the documents. But which documents? It's still too general. Imagine that Peter is in charge of the the certificates. Please don't forget the certificates. Los certificados de regalo que va a dar, o le ponemos le podemos poner the gifts, ¿verdad? Porque to don't forget the things is to general. Please don't forget the gift cards.
right? Only. What else should we change? What is it? There is something else that we have to change. What is it? Don't use the contraction. Uh huh. So we say. Is this formal or informal? La, eh, mes. Is formal or informal? Informal. 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 Mm -hmm. It's informal. In a formal email, you don't you don't say see you. Eso no es formal, right? Regard. Yeah, that's informal. And remember the subject. What shall we put in the subway? ¿Qué le ponemos al subject? Subway, estoy diciendo yo. Quiero subway. A ver, what should we put to the subject? Le podemos poner el subject que queremos que no olvide los... Then... Ok. Pre preparing the event. O cuál es el event? ¿Cómo se llamaría? Christmas. Bueno, lo que está más cerca, ¿verdad? Que es Valentine's. Imagine you're having something in your job of a Valentine's. So, Peter is going to prepare the gift cards that you will have for the celebration of Valentine's in your workplace. Then we put in the in the in the subject we put Valentine's. We don't put Saturday. That's what we like, huh? Saturday, qué, 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 qué es lo que vamos a hacer? De qué se trata? Okay, bye. And now let's see the other email. Let's see the other email. To Robert at mail .com. The same, no copy to anybody. Subject tomorrow's meeting. Robert, remember that tomorrow we are having a meeting with it with IT. No con I, no con el IT, ¿verdad? el extraterrestre, no, with IT. Don't forget the documents. Which documents? What are they talking about? A ver, how can we fix it? Is it formal or informal? Hmm? Formal or informal. Para ser un poco más formal. Para decir está. Está cuto. Yeah. What is it missing? Aquí. The salutation. The salutation. Dear Robert. Dear Robert. If you get adentro, volverla a poner Robert. Don't forget that tomorrow mm -hmm. we're having a meeting with IT. It's okay. You want to, um, to make more emphasis when you say Robert. Remember that tomorrow we're having a meeting. Que no se te olvide, Roberto, por favor. Right? And the last one. Don't forget the documents. ¿Qué pasa acá? How can I fix that? Mm, record, recordatorio. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero está correcto que yo diga don't forget that way? Mm. Yes or no? Remember that my tips for writing a formal email tell me that I don't have to write contractions. Then I say, do not. Okay. Do not forget the topics. Mm -hmm. Como ya, si ya le dijo que es para el meeting de mañana, esperemos 
que Robert sepa a qué documento se refiere. A saber quién, porque no tiene closing. How would you close this email? How would you close it? El closing es el saludito que usted pone al final, que se acabó el email y, y pone un saludito. Ese es el closing. ¿Qué le ponemos? ¿Mm? ¿Qué le ponemos de closing? What did you say? Sure. Uh, we think that usted nos está preguntando the closing podría ser looking forward to you comment, etc. Podría ser pendiente looking for, forward dice. forward looking forward uh -huh. to you ah. comment ah Looking forward to your coming. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Esperamos que confirme si recibió verdad divina. Looking forward. your comment. Comment. Veo rara la palabra y no me gusta de ninguna manera, pero let's get very sure. Ah, pues sí, pues sí. Ah, me la por gusto. Ahí está. Vale, cuando les pase eso de que se con ah, le escriben y por qué la veo rara, la veo rara con una M, la veo rara con un dos. Vaya y cheque. Un dos con dos. Ok, so you say, looking forward to your comment. Is it formal or informal? Aquí se queda. <laughs> More formal than the previous one, right? But still, still, it's a little bit informal. Okay, questions. Questions? No? Bye. Check this. Check this, check this. What you're going to do here is write a professional email to a coworker. ¿Cuál es, el, ¿Cuál es el message? You need to meet with him or her tomorrow. Ese es el message. O sea, no tiene que andar pensando usted y de qué le escribo. No, solo confírmele que se va a reunir con él mañana. Pero ¿de qué manera se lo va a decir? Eso es lo que usted decide. Right? And remember to follow these steps as you write the email to your friend. Okay? Vaya, le voy a dar. Les voy a dar. Cinco minutos. Lo hacemos individual, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿verdad? Más fácil. Vaya, you have five minutes to write it. And then I will let you share the, the, card, the, the screen. So you can show us the email that you wrote. Remember, be short, 
Be brief, be formal, be direct. Follow the tips. Don't use abbreviation. Don't use capital letter. Don't forget the, the, the subject. And you have the message that is, well, what you, the purpose, right? The purpose of the email is to confirm that you need to meet him tomorrow, okay? That's what you're going to do. Confirm that you need to meet him tomorrow. Question. No question. No question. This program is Remember the ending, right? Regards, warm regards, and put your own, uh, your name at the end. Yes? Remember to include you, your name and the address. Remember to use your name and the address. Que su nombre lleve el nombre con el que cierra, lleve toda la información necesaria de la empresa. Uh
Okay, how are you doing? Huh? Ready, 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 ready. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Bye. Who wants to share? I'm going to share with you a, a link there in the in the chat for you to take a couple of things into account, right? When writing email etiquette. Okay, who will be my volunteer to share the email? Volunteer. Okay, go ahead. You can share the screen. Puede compartir pantalla, Laurita. En este momento no se Ah, no puedo. Ah, pues le dan el Ajá. Okay. Dear Karen, I confirm that tomorrow we are having a, a meeting to prepare the report. Looking forward to your comments. The subject is... Uh, What's the subject? Prepare the report tomorrow. Okay. Se puede hacer más corto y ponerle tomorrow's report. ¿Qué más, Laurita? En el closing, ¿qué le ponemos? Remember, best regards, regards. Looking forward. Looking forward to your comment. Okay, okay, okay. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Claudia. You're welcome. We need another volunteer. I saw somebody here writing, good morning, Mr. Sorento, said Amanda. Amanda, Amanda can you share your screen? Yes. yes. <laughs> Yeah, bounce. Can you share the screen? O si no, nos lee, nos lee el mes, el, el email. ¿Quién es? Porque no sé cómo se hace. A ver, allí. Eh, si se fija, hay una pantalla, hay una cosita verde que dice share screen. Ah, yes. Y ya cuando le das clic allí, ya busca lo que quiere presentar. Muy por. Ajá. Ajá. Ahorita vemos pantalla blanca. Ok. Ok. Eh, ¿Lo voy escribiendo o lo leo mejor? No voy escribiendo, está bien. En la G de Good en Capital Letter, ¿verdad? Good morning, sí. Mr. Sorento. Mm -hmm. What would be the, the, the message? Ah, 
Ay, perdón. I want to inform you that our company is growing. Pongámosle eh, growing. No pongo alguna letra. En growing, póngale G, la primera G en vez de W. Ay, sí, perdón. It's growing. Countries, ¿verdad? En plural. Ah, yes. Póngale, cámbiale la Y por I latina y le agrega ES. Ah, sí. Ah, no. Countries. Therefore, we need to assist logistics. No sé si va bien. We need to assist logistic. logistics. Póngale S a logistics. Amen. I think, póngale una K, ajá, y quítele la S porque como dice hay. Ajá. Vaya, eso ya no se acostumbra hoy, que le, que le agradecíamos en avance, hoy solamente le decimos thanks. Ah, ok. Thanks for your help. ¿Se acuerdan que antes se les, se les ponía un saludo y después se les decía gracias en, en advance? En advance for your help and everything. Ya, ya no. ¿Verdad? Hoy, hoy como que todo anda corriendo más. Entonces, for your help. Uh -huh. Thanks o thank you for your help. Y... Así. Ajá, ajá. Y abajo le puede poner el nombre de la persona que esté escribiendo y ahí la información de contacto de la compañía. Right? That's what you're missing there. Uh -huh. eh, es, la, es esta misma. Puede el, ser esta misma. Su, su closing es thank you for your help. Ese es su closing. Ya latentamente ya no se lo pone. Ya solo pone Amanda ¿qué? López. Uh -huh. Y el nombre de la compañía y un número de, de contacto. Lo voy a poner. Así. Exacto, exacto. Así va hoy. Fíjense que hoy todo, todo se, se ha cortado y con las cartas es lo mismo, ¿verdad? Toda la información va más, así, más directa, como, bueno, y aparte que estamos hablando de una cultura norteamericana que en inglés se escribe muchas cosas más cortas que como nosotros lo escribiríamos en español, ¿verdad? Entonces es más directo. Es más rápido. Así la gente, en vez de leer un gran montón, solo lee este, tres, cuatro líneas. Y vaya, cuando tiene, por ejemplo, si quiere transmitir dos mensajes en el mismo email, no se recomienda, ¿verdad? Pero no sé si es el caso, se tendría que cortar dos partitos para que, en este caso, salga, ¿verdad? Pero en el caso de que fuera a, a ¿cómo se llama? 
a escribir dos, dos mensajes, se hace un parrafito chiquito por un mensaje y otro chiquitito por el otro, ¿verdad? Para que el lector no se nos pierda a leer la información importante. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Amanda. Excelente. Well, let's go for the last attendance. Excellent. Let's go for the last attendance. Por ahí les mandé un link para que ustedes echen un ojito extra, ¿verdad? A los tips para escribir emails, eh, formal emails, right? Especially talking about business. Okay, let's see uh, Amanda Lopez. Present. 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 Carlos Alfredo. Present. Cecilia. César Antonio. Present. Claudia. Present. Jacob. Jonathan. Jonathan. Jonathan, 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 no está Jonathan. Estuvo Jonathan, ¿alguien lo recuerda? No, teacher, no estuvo. No. ¿Se acuerdan que antes se pasaba tendas tres veces? Y la, la pasada de tendas en medio servía para la gente que no estaba ni al principio ni al final. Pero ahora ya no se pasa tendas en medio. Entonces, a veces si alguien entró tarde y se salió temprano, no hay forma de ponerle a tendas. Va, ok. José David. Juan Antonio. Present. Juan Carlos. No hay Juan Carlos. Karen. Present. Carla Yamine. Rita. Present teacher. Okay, Catherine Bridget. Present teacher. Connie. Marco Rubén. Minor. Present. Silvia Estela. Silvia Inés. Present teacher. Tatiana. Teacher, no es mi nombre. ¿Quién? Silvia Estela. ¿Cómo no? Si sí, dije. Ah, perdón. Perdón, perdón. Sí, sí, sí. Tatiana. Sandra, dije también Sandra, ¿verdad? No, me falté a Sandra. Ok, Minor, Sandra, y Silvia Estela, Silvia Inés. Tatiana no está. Tatiana. Sí, yo, yo le pregunté, Tiché. Sí, Silvia Estela, sí. Tatiana no, ¿verdad? No, dicho. Y Catherine. Catherine Beatriz. Present, teacher. Nice. Bueno. Enjoy your weekend, hermanas. Duermanse temprano mañana. <laughs> And see you Monday. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Quien se queda. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Take care. See you, see you. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? Um, I'm, um, how do you say, teacher? Tired. Is Tired. 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 Is the accumulation, Carlita, of the week? Sí, la verdad que en la semana bastante ocupada y ando sueño resagado todavía. Ay, sí, sí, sí. That, that's difficult when you have a, a lot of things to do, right? In a week. 
cuando se sí. le carga algo, algo chiquito que sea extra, que no, que es fuera de la rutina, al final de la semana pesa. Sí, sí. Pesa, pesa, pesa bastante. Pero bueno, qué bueno que ya es viernes. You don't work tomorrow, do you? Yes. You work all day or just the morning? Y, y... All day. All day. Until what time? Um, what time do you finish tomorrow? Uh, uh, three, no, 4 p.m. At 4 p.m. From 8 to 4. Yeah. Perdón. From 8 in the morning or 7 uh, in the morning? What time do you start work? 7. Seven, wow, from seven to four, yeah, it's a lot of time. Okay. But you are not virtual, you have to go to work. Yeah, no. You have to go to work. Because in my case, I work all day tomorrow, but I am at home because I'm virtual. But what about you? Are you virtual? Or you go to the office tomorrow? Go to the office. Oh, that makes it longer, right? Because of the way that you have to. But no working Sunday, right? No, Sunday no. Sunday is off. Ah, that's good. That's good. At least you have one day to rest a little bit. Thank you, Yes. So today, as soon as you finish, as we finish, go jump and sleep <laughs> tomorrow. You live, I imagine that you leave very early tomorrow, right? Yes. What time do you leave home? At about six. Um... No entendí, dice. ¿A qué hora sale de su casa en la mañana? Uh, sí. Uh, six. Six. About uh, six. Sí. Yeah, that's very early. Very early. But at that time, if the traffic is better, right? If you move later, oh, there is a lot of traffic. But if you move at that time, it's like, yeah. I know. Yeah, I know no, <laughs> After yes. seven, the traffic is horrible. It's very yes. early in the morning. Yes. Carlita, do you have any questions? Um, quizás, teacher, lo que a mí me cuesta de las clases es que yo a veces le entiendo casi todo su vocabulario, mm -hmm. pero para contestar tengo como dificultad y no no saber encontrar las palabras eh, no sé algún tip, algún tip que me podría dar para eh, poder contestar vaya eh, a lo que hay que hacer es que cuando se van viendo los los formatos de las oraciones ir haciendo sus propias oraciones siguiendo ese formatito cambiándole palabritas pero dejando para que eso le vaya ayudando a usted a ir redactando sus propias oraciones para poder responder. De verdad, eso le va a ir ayudando así poquito a poco. Uh -huh. reemplazando, reemplazando palabras. De los ejemplos que ve que yo pongo. Puede uh -huh. ir reemplazando palabras para que vaya cambiando una que otra cosita. Y así ya poquito a poco se le va a ir haciendo más fácil. Okay. Sí, porque... A veces, o sea, yo sé la respuesta, pero es así como que, ay, no, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Esta palabra? O, o, la, o la forma de, de ordenar la oración. Ajá, va, acuérdese, primero va el sujeto, después el verbo y después cualquier complemento que venga. Sí, que sí. Y no se preocupe, cuando tenga dudas, pregunte, uy. 
siéntase sí, libre sí. para preguntar, para poder ir eh, complementando eh, cualquier cosa y que no se le haga difícil, ¿verdad? Porque sí. sí, claro, no es fácil. O sea, el idioma, no vamos a decir, hay que aprender inglés bien fácil. No, no es fácil. Sí. Pero eh, haciendo un... Así eso de ir reemplazando las palabras, ir tratando de usar las nuevas, eso le va a ir ayudando, ¿verdad? le va a ir facilitando el, el aprendizaje. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. no, Por lo demás, todo bien, dicha. Excelente, excelente. Y sí, como le digo, cuando tenga preguntas, hágala suya, no se sienta así como que es que me da pena. Pregunte, ¿verdad? No se me quede con penita. Ok. Vaya, pues Carlita, la dejamos para que vaya a descansar un rato. Y nos vemos el lunes. Hoy. Ok, teacher. Bye. Bye, bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.